So wild week so far with a lot of these Wall Street bet stocks uh, going from single digits to the moon. Following, of course, GameStop that's leading all the hype um, and other stocks such as BB, BlackBerry, AMC Entertainment, and a couple others such as EXPR, the Express Clothing Store. Like I haven't been to that online shop since I was like 19. So let's get straight into the trade. So first of all, AMC, this is a stock that if you guys remember, from my last recap I did swing some from last Friday and then I sold unfortunately most of it um, around the 480s on um, Monday but I did keep some for the swing for the for the what if like what if we get some you know fireworks and something crazy and uh, long behold this thing this thing on Tuesday uh, went all the way to 11s, you know, after hours, after hours it hit, sorry, after hours it hit $5 to 7s, and then gapped up overnight, went all the way to 13s, you can see pulled back to $8, and then up to 11s and all the way to 25s. And this is where I, this, on this day is where I sold all my swing position. Sold some in the 10s, you know, I didn't think it was gonna go to $25. And later I did, you know, I sold uh, more around 22s. I didn't sell at the top, unfortunately, but uh, you know, I kept some small remaining just to see how the price action trades. Uh, but around the midday, I sold all of it around the $15. So. Man, that was some crazy swing. I had some from the 480s average from Monday night uh, with the ads, um, of course, on Friday, Monday night, and then went all the way to 22s. Holy crap. Even if you just had a thousand shares, man, this is crazy, crazy move. Uh, 10 point move. So that's how much. 10 point move on a thousand shares. Somebody do the math here. Uh, I don't know. Lamborghini money or something like that? Okay, so that was AMZ on the swing side for me. On the day trading side, uh, I was still mostly long bias and buying the dips on AMC. You can see after that same pre-market parabolic move to $25, this thing sold off all the way down to 16s. And at the open, you know, it was basing around this, you can see this 15s level. That's why I went in for the dip, thinking that we're gonna, you know, continue back to highs. When we rejected at 19s, you can see if you look at this level, um, it rejected that really quickly. I sold first uh, long. I was thinking we're gonna see back to highs and potentially have some crazy halts on the way up. You know, if the hype is that, oh, people are thinking it's gonna be a next GameStop, this thing should rip. But the fact that it didn't got me nervous. So I cut it for a small uh, small profit and this thing just tanked all the way down to 11. Um, that's where I was thinking that, okay, no, that's that's a really big tank, pretty much from 18s down to 11s. Well, I started loaning the dips and I re-added here. I did take some profit, but I re-added here on 14s uh, and we're consolidating around these um, VWAP low levels and we claimed it added some more and sold um, into this push around the high 17s so round trip uh, even though I did long here for small profits the better long was after after the panic sell off um, is done, right? And this thing is a pretty big float, a really big market cap. So it doesn't move as fast as um, GME and all the other ones like uh, BlackBerry too. Um, so the action was, it took a while. I, I got a little bit nervous um, holding it all the way from uh, 11s and even added some more around 13s, 14s. So after that, I had about like a $14 average um, sold into the 17s. So that was a nice, long trade the usually the first major dip uh, which we got here first one and second one are gonna be the biggest bounce plays um, if you are playing uh, buying the dips right you don't want to be that person buying the breakout uh, around the $25 level so that was it I did try to go back and read long I did start giving back some profit uh, usually when I do that I just kind of want to be careful and over here, uh, I saw I thought we we're gonna sell off, so I had a short, uh, small short. I really quickly covered after seeing that. Okay, uh, we're not breaking down. So, good thing I covered because this thing went all the way back to twenties. Um, I left this thing alone, so the short was a small loss, right? Small size. Um, I after I went for a break, came back, seeing that it's reclaiming these prior highs. You can see the seventeen dollars level, um, seventeen eighteens that I had trouble with early on in the morning. Once we're reclaiming that, we should squeeze. 
squeeze. Um, and that's why I went back in long, buying the stock uh, around 17, thinking that we're gonna, you know, potentially do one of those crazy hold ups, like again, GME, but we just didn't get that. Um, had so much trouble around the high $19 levels. Unfortunately, that didn't work. So I, uh, I took for a small profit. AMC, mostly on the long side, um, did well on that one. The other one that I also traded pretty well, but I gave back a lot of profit on was uh, EXPR. So similar idea as AMC, right? We had a parabolic move pre-market and this thing sold off back below VWAP, uh, which is around the $6 level. Um, this is also the, around the time I was starting to long um, AMC and I was thinking that EXPR was setting up for the same setup, right? We reclaiming VWAP, I started in with a long, small size because at the time I was trying to focus on AMC, my long trade, uh, I sold some and then I actually started adding here and that was a terrible ad uh, because I thought, you know, we were going to hold on the way up, which we did later on. Uh, but, you know, after this ad, I was like, okay, maybe that was, that was a bad idea. So I stopped out of the ad. So I had the remaining small share position. Uh, after seeing that's reclaiming um, the $9 level and consolidating, I re-added in around the $9. So I, I bought at highs, $9. Now I would only do that because I started in a lot lower around the 650s, right? Otherwise this, th this could, just as well be the top, right? This is technically a 50-50 trade. Um, but at the time, the buying sentiment was so strong. The volume was strong, um, the hype, you know, everyone was buying up all these stocks like NOK, um, Ericsson, Sony Ericsson, um, and other crazy stocks. So while I didn't participate in those, the buying volume was really strong and the hype was uh, remaining strong as well. So that's why uh, I bought it here at $9 and this thing actually just holds it on the way up. And I sold into the pushes. I don't like being stuck in holds. I have some very terrible experience with those, which you will see later on. Uh, I had a pretty big loss today. Um, I, I stuck in the hold. Um, so I sold into the pushes, um, 1050s, 11s. Um, I was all out and this thing went all the way to 14s. But after a couple of holds, right? I don't like being um, holded up. I, I, I went back for a smaller size around the 1250s, thinking that we can potentially go higher. Um, at the time, um, GameStop was ripping at the time. Uh, so I went back in small size and that's where I started go giving back profits. Uh, so that was not fun. Giving back profits, stopped out of the long. I tried it here, didn't work out. So I gave back more profits on the long side here. And I just left it alone. But overall, this is a very nice um, long trade. Basically, longing from 650s added on the way up and sold into the pushes. Usually, the secondary trades, um, I do give back profits. So I try to minimize that with smaller size. So those were the trades from yesterday. Today, uh, I didn't participate in GameStop. You can see this thing um, gapped up all the way to 500s and just new highs, 500s. And uh, we had a crazy V shape, um, dumped all the way to 260s and ripped back to 7, 475 and went back to as low as 112s. I did not participate in this because I hate all these holds. You can see this thing halted down upside like two times and then downside one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, I, I don't like being stuck in holds. But um, all the other stocks that we were talking about and I was trading uh, Blackberry, AMC, I was trading along the GameStop sentiment. So if GameStop was ripping, the other stocks were kind of bouncing, not as strong as GameStop, obviously different price range, different float, uh, but I was watching GameStop closely. Now the one I, I really, didn't do well, um, which I talked about earlier, that where I got ripped, um, being stuck in the hold was AMC. The and the loss was on the long side. <laughs> um, I had a small scalp short around the nine thirties, and I covered it all around the scene that were basing around nine dollars. And at the time, GameStop was bouncing, um, so I covered the short for basically break even, and I went in long. Um, and this did not end up well. We can see I longed it around nine seventies and added ten dollars. And this thing unholded just went straight back down. So, oh, so this thing I, I lost uh, at the time I was, by the time I was able to get out, I lost $2, a little bit more than $2 a share. That was not fun. I was so pissed um, because, man, because obviously I was short early on, but I did think we were going to bounce all the way back to $12. I was so mad. Um, that was not fun. And that's the reason 
I don't trade hot, and I should have stayed away with it from this stock, um, AMC. And this thing just kept on holding downside and upside. It was a mess. Um, so AMC was the worst trade from today for me. I'm out of it. I'm done messing with this stock. Um, the, the swing trade was still the best trade and the dip buying yesterday on AMC. But today I, I just didn't do well on the long side. So AMC, um, that was the, the crappiest trade ever today. Uh, now the other one, Blackberry, this one I did a lot better on and this is my biggest trade uh, today, uh, mostly on the long side and I traded it round trip. Um, so when GameStop was uh, crashing pre-market, BlackBerry also got pulled down with it, right? This thing crashed from uh, $26 all the way to $16, down 10 points pre-market. Um, and at that time I started in on the long. I was actually doing um, pre-market call with my chat room, with my community. And uh, this I saw this thing at 17, so that's I took it long, told everyone my idea was that this thing is gonna bounce into the open. Uh, for you know, at the time it was kind of sketchy because it wasn't like a really quick bounce. Like I thought this thing was gonna bounce hard back to 20s and 22s. Uh, I thought I was gonna do that pre-market, but when we didn't, um, I, t I, I was like, oh, be safe, you know, sold into the 19s if you can. Uh, I so took a starter long here, 17, very small size. It's after it starts basing, I added in around the 18 dollars and sold into the 19 so 1880s so that was the pre-market long trade uh, the other long was after the open right SSR was triggered right when this thing pulled down from 25 down uh, down to uh, 18s and they opened around 18 dollars SSR was triggered so my secondary long trade again was at this dip uh, around 18 uh, again starter first if it holds reclaiming VWAP I add um, I added 1880s and added even more around 1930s and that's where we got a nice push sold some into this we added around the 20s and got a nice push $22 that was a very nice bounce I was, I was really happy about it uh, this thing bounced from 18 basically to $22 that's four points bounce so I was happy about it. So I did give back some on the secondary trade. Uh, it just stayed so weak after that, you know, that push to 22s. Um, on this dip, I really thought it was going to continue trending up, but it just didn't happen. It was heavy all day. You can see this thing barely bounced. After $20 broke down, this thing just tanked all the way to 16s and then 13s. So, uh, so I'm glad I stopped out um, on the secondary trade. With smaller shares, give back some profits on the long side, but I kept it very minimal now once this thing starts uh, you can see breaking down once seeing that's heavy um, a lot of selling pressure uh, and again like BB um, AMC GME a lot of these Wall Street bet stocks were unfortunately restricted um, by a lot of brokers and also another thing is that I think this is very unfair and very very manipulative that uh, most of these retail brokers restricted a lot of these stocks so you cannot open new positions you can only sell your existing positions and to me that's just bullshit. Um, so BB uh, AMC and Nokia, I think, and GME uh, were all restricted by E-Trade, Interactive Brokers, um, Robinhood, Webull, and uh, man, that, that's, that's just unfair. I, I, that's all I have to say about it. I think that's very unfair that they do that simultaneously on this day. I think uh, something's going on there, if you know what I'm saying. So back to BlackBerry stock. Uh, I did short it, this thing on the way down. I started in around 18s, added some 1730s, um, and this thing just stayed so weak. And once this low of the day breaks down, I re-add final add, 1670s, uh, and then so covered into the flushes here. I was all out on the short. I did try to bounce it, but the bounces were kind of weak, so I didn't stay with it. Uh, from about um, tiny, tiny scalp bounce, 1450s, sold into these pushes to 15s. Now around this area, I did a lot of round trips, both long and short on BlackBerry. Uh, for, to me, this is a stock that's 
a more of a friendly ticker because it doesn't do the crazy upside holds and downside holds like AMC and GameStop. Um, so I like BlackBerry a lot more. So overall, I traded BlackBerry both short and long, um, but I did better on the long side. Now, NIKD, I know this is another one of those stocks that people were really excited about. Went from 40 cents all the way to yesterday, 120, and the high of 340s pre-market. Um, this one was just a side watch for me. Um, I'm at May focus was on BlackBerry AMC and also watch GameStop uh, but this one I did short this from three dollars added some 290s um, they were just tiny scalp trades for me and I was all out around these areas 230 so tiny scalp uh, small win um, the other stock that AL uh, and I left a lot of money on the table uh, when this thing went parabolic uh, with the pre-market um, earnings news uh, it went from 18s all the way to 30s and that's why I got in shorts just pre-market size not not really big at all and this thing just faded all the way I covered all the way around 26s and it just faded all the way down to holy crap $16 I left like $10 a share on the table so that was very unfortunate um, it just broke down I did think that it was going to start reclaiming the 23s and curl back higher um, because the earnings, I mean, uh, earnings, they, they did beat earnings with losing less than expected. Um, but I didn't expect this sort of giant sell off all the way from 30s um, back to 17s, literally with no bounce at all. Uh, but that was, it stayed weak all day. So I didn't participate th in this. Uh, I was trading all the other uh, fun stocks like AMC, BB. Well, AMC wasn't fun because I was stuck in the halt. So it's been a very crazy week indeed. I hope everyone stayed safe. Uh, and hopefully we get more momentum like these tomorrow. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about GameStop, AMC, and BlackBerry? Uh, are we going to see more momentum to the upside? We'll see. I hope we do, actually, because uh, I, I, I trade them better on the long side, for sure. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to drop a like, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video and the bad jokes. If you want to see more day trading content, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more. If you'd like to trade with me daily and get my free weekend watch list and trading journal, make sure to check out the links below for more resources. Stay green, stay positive, and I'll see you guys next time.